these lump sum funds, for example, contingent, contingency fund, calamity fund, and allocation to all LGUs for their share in national taxes, cannot be disaggregated as the specific programs and projects to be funded by them are only identified during budget execution. Releases are made only when certain conditions are met. Of the total special purpose funds, we have disaggregated a total of 330.5 billion for the balance of the SPFs. Included in the program appropriations for 2015 are the automatic appropriations of 816 billion, the bulk of which are the internal revenue allotment of LGUs and interest payments. Mr. Chairman, I now wish to present key priority programs to be funded by the 2015 budget in line with the four priority objectives that I earlier discussed. As we present the proposed budgetary allocations for key programs, we will also be presenting key performance targets of these programs. Under the social protection and social services, our first priority we have included investments that help us meet our Millennium Development Goal of reducing uh, poverty incidence to 19% uh, by the end of the President's term, at the same time sustaining e equalization of opportunities for all. Priority programs under this pillar are social protection programs, the universal health care program, basic education, and social housing. We continue to increase the provision of social protection to the poorest of the poor. The conditional cash transfer program is designed to address chronic poverty and meet our commitments to MDG. We will increase the program's budget to a total of 64.7 billion from 62.6 billion this year. For 2015, the regular CCT will already cover the beneficiaries of extended CCT, which was started in 2014. This will translate on estimated 509,366 children beneficiaries aged 15 up to 18. With the funding support of 59.8 billion next year, the beneficiaries will be 4.3 million families as compared to the 2014 budget support of 60.6 billion benefiting 4.329 million households. Under the modified CCT, itinerant homeless street families and indigenous people shall be eligible for cash grants in exchange for compliance to certain education and health conditionalities. For 2015, 5 billion will be allocated to benefit 126,963 families as compared to 2014 with 2 billion and 131,963 households. It should be noted that the bigger funding requirements for 2015 is attributed to the inclusion of additional assistance package aside from health and education grants. Another major undertaking of the DSWD is the Kalahi Seeds National Community Driven Development Project to empower communities in accessing services and participati participating in local planning, budgeting, and implementation, so they will have access to services. With a budget of 17.5 billion in 2015, a total of 19,352 barangays in 826 municipalities across 58 provinces will be covered. To provide sustainable income for CCT beneficiaries, especially those who will graduate from the program, a budgetary outlay of 4.9 million shall cover 265,175 family beneficiaries with microenterprise development and another 113,647 households under the employment facilitation through capacity development under the Live Sustainable Livelihood Program. Meanwhile, 4.8 billion is allocated for the provision of monthly social pension of 500 pesos to 739,609 indigent senior citizens aged 71 years old and above. Apart from providing adequate social safety nets to our people, 
we continue to expand health care services to the poor. Through the Universal Health Care Program, we seek to increase health insurance coverage, improve accessibility to health care facilities, and help achieve our health-related MDGs. The approval of the Syntax Reform Law in 2013 has increased our resources for the provision of health services, particularly among marginalized Filipinos. To reduce out-of-pocket health expenses, a proposed allocation of $37.2 billion will cover the health insurance benefits of 15.4 million indigent households identified by the National Household Targeting Survey. Considering the importance of uh, health facilities in healthcare delivery system, 13.1 billion shall be spent to upgrade 1,242 barangay health stations, 587 rural health units and city health centers, 128 LGU hospitals, 19 DOH hospitals and 11 treatment and rehab centers. Another essential component of healthcare provision is making sure that health and human resource supply is adequate and there is equitable distribution across areas in the country. For 2015, an amount of 4.2 billion will support the hiring of health professionals. 388 doctors. At yan po ang uh, pahayag ni uh, Budget Secretary Butchabad at kanyang sinasabi at uh, ipinapaliwanag kung ano ang uh, nilalaman ng uh, budget para sa 2015. At sinasabi niya ay uh, target nila na mabawasan ang poverty ma at uh, ma-increase naman ang beneficiaries ng conditional cash transfer program ng uh, gobyerno. At gayon din ay uh, ma-improve ang healthcare ng bansa at mas marami raw ang uh, magkakaroon ng health insurance ng mga may hirap na pamilya at uh, marami ho ang uh, merong mga ilang eksperto na nagsasabi na kailangan budget, uh, bantayan itong national budget para sa susunod na taon dahil uh, ito ay uh, tinatawag ng uh, ibang eksperto na uh, election budget uh, dahil daw uh, sa papalapit na 2016 elections. At yan po may init na balita sa oras na ito. Tutok lang dito sa GMA News TV para oras-oras alabong. Ako po si Sandra Aguinaldo. Magandang umaga.